Just uh, making some pens here and all. What? Well, good morning. How are you and all? Merry Christmas. Good new. Well, we got a bit of snow. I, well, we didn't get as much as they uh, said we were going to. We probably got, I don't know, six inches maybe. Something like that, anyways. Whoa, boy, she's really coming down now. Maybe I spoke too soon, I don't know. Nice big flakes, though. Good for uh, maybe some runoff and whatnot, maybe. I don't know. Usually not much moisture in this stuff when it's too cold out, but... Whatever, I'll take it. A little hard to get stuff done when it's cold and crappy like this, but we'll get her. We'll get her. Ooh, take a log off. She's a little toasty in here. Anyway, we're just going to uh, take these couple bales out to the cows uh, out in the pasture. I don't know if they're going to go out there much or not, but anyway, that's where we're going to feed them. Then we got two pens of heifers to feed. And the bullpen, I guess, needs a bail, so. Here we go, winter wonderland. <laughs> Check out my Instagrams. Made some nice little Christmas stories today. <laughs> ah, good enough. Okay, let's go. I go feed some heifers now. And then the other heifer pen. And then the steers. And then the bulls. Okay, see you in a bit. Ah. Uh, Anyone looking for a pen of two? Why are you guys in here? Come on, get out. Get out, you little bastards. Come on. Oh, you're so tame, you're dumb some days. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Don't get your feet stuck in there. <laughs> nice. Oh, you had the fresh meal of the day. All right, so we're back in the shop here. Uh, here's a nice little camera Ashton the kids got me for Christmas. That's pretty king. Uh, we got to get some better SD cards though. They filled up on us here, so we're just trying to uh, we we'll try to give it a shot, and then it says storage is full. So I don't know. I have to talk to Kai Farmer Man about this. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we got. The second uh, fence line feeder uh, tacked up while well, the ends are welded up already on here. We've got all these welded up. So we got that to weld up and that other brace, but we we're cutting. And this is the first time we had to change a blade. She's fucked. The, uh, well, other than the factory one was a pile of shit, but anyways. So I got a spare one up here, like a smart guy, I got two that day, so now I got to get two more. Anyway, we're going to get this changed up and uh, start cutting again, it just was warped, the freaking blade was going knee. so anyway, seeing a few here. Alright, so we got the neck bar up there, we got our 15 inch pieces in between, I got to uh, tack this guy yet. Right here. So he goes in here like this. Just like that. So I'll get to doing that and I'll uh, bring you back for the next step. See you in a few. All right, fellers. Hang on. We are ready for the next step here, pretty much. Um, so basically, we got the neck bar welded on the bushings on this side. Anyways, we got to, uh... Oh shit, I'm getting tired. I'll be following the wife inside the house here pretty quick. She just went in. But, uh, anyway. I got to weld the back side of these yet. Like where the... Onto the bushing and then where the pipe meets the pipe. Same as that end. And then those are all done. 
And then what I do is I lay that back down so I don't pinch my feet. And then I will have to cut some, uh, uh, cut my little pieces for there, but I'll show you that in a bit. So probably tomorrow. That's I'm going to shut it down early tonight. Fuck it. That's good enough for one day. Anyway, uh, we got these all welded now. Tops and bottoms. Tops and bottoms. Insides and outs. And everything. Like that. We got both sides now. Tops and bottoms. So now. So here's how. Maybe I'll leave it over here. This one's a little more stickier than the other one, but it seems to work pretty good yet. There, there's the neck bar. Now, being adjustable, I put chains on here. Or no, I put a link on here, chain linker. And then I put a chain linker on there with a chain holder deal. And then I run the chain up, and then that's how you set your height when the cattle are in behind coming up in through underneath the neck bar eating down over top of the sheet steel so this has to get sheeted in yet that'll be our next step i'll probably work on that tomorrow because that's what i'm going to do tomorrow and then flint has hockey tomorrow night so i won't be able to work it here so i'm going to get this one done tomorrow and then uh, uh, what the hell was I going to say now? Let me see. I'm going to sit down for a minute. Uh, so yeah, so I got to put a chain link there to hold it down. So when the cattle come in behind, the tendency of the cows, they want to try to lift that neck bar up, right, to get more food. So I put three chains. I go one here, one at the 12 foot, one at the far end. All right, guys. So, I've got, I went and uh, buffed these up here and then down at that end. So, I got a bunch of these little guys made here now. See how I cut it on the angle because the uh, pipes are pressed and that knocks it off on the angle. Either that or it should be just way out to lunch. Anyway, i got to give these a little buff. Get a bit of slag off there. There's five of them. Uh, two are made to hold the chain. Like that. And the other three are just to hold the chain up. Like a chain link. So. Actually one should be beveled. Yeah. So this one here goes in the middle. Up against this. Uh, up against this guy. Something like this. See how that's cut like that? That's so that you can get in there better. Get a better, a little better weld. Nice little butt weld. Anyway, I'm going to get these cleaned up. And uh, we'll get those tacked on. And then we'll have to cut some chain. Just like that. So then basically, when you have that notch cut in there, the chain can still move. Instead of having it solid on here it doesn't much matter because it's going to pivot on that link anyway so then what i do well i'm going to weld all these up solid after along with uh all these guys but i go i measure down from the pipe down uh, i think it's 18 inches i can't remember and weld the bottom link right into the, the plate here and then i can wrap it around so that when the cows are trying to lift it, it's actually pulling down on the on the pipe itself instead of just on the link. You know what I mean? Like instead of instead of pulling like this, like they could probably bend that if they had enough power. But if they got to pull against here at the same time, you're gonna get a lot more strength out of that. So anyway, there we go, guys. All the uh, chain links are tacked in place. So I'll go cut some chain and we'll get those welded in. Um, like I said, every time I measure for where to put my chain on here, I measure down from the neck bar pipe. 
or whatever the top mount pipe from here down and I think it's 18 inches I'm gonna have to check and then 30 inch chain just in case you want it wide open or something so that's what I'll do next here I'll bring you back in a few okay step by step here there's the chain link is tacked in so I'm gonna get that welded that welded this welded that the chain link the chain link that and that So get those done then I'm gonna come with a wire wheel and buff all this thicker rust off with the wire wheel I'll just zing her down zing zang zing 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 all the way down both sides then when I weld the sheet metal to it, it should be golden speaking of that I should bring it in and let it warm up a little bit anyway I'll see you in a bit here all right so I just uh, brought in some sheet steel and just got to get everything squared up a little bit better and then I can uh, start tacking these in. This guy here has to be ripped in half at four feet. So we'll fire up the plasma cutter, cut him in half this way. We get all of our sheet steel sheared depending on how high we want the uh, feed, whatever part. So we get Russell to do that. Actually, they send it away and get it done. They don't do it, do it anymore, but So four by eight sheet and they just zinger in half uh, You can get ten footers uh, I guess if I was doing uh, 30 footers like I'm gonna do for myself. I probably would be better off uh, Buying 30 footers because then I can just do three sheets. I still have to cut the middle one in half uh, to line up to the middle there, but other than that, she's pretty good, I think. Um, yeah, so I got to get those squared up, tack them in, and then I'll show you what I do on the middle there. Usually what I do is I, I put the cut edge underneath the straight edge of the full sheet, then it hides a cut. And then when I get it stood up, I weld the backside too, two little, whatever, couple inch stitch welds. So I'll show you that uh, when I bring you back. I got my other heater going here because I had the door open. It's cold. It's like minus 26 today. Holy shamoly. I got to go turn my heat off here. Getting hot. So I got everything in place. Uh, here's what I do here. I'll show you. So this is the four foot length. These are 24 feet long. So I go eight. And then I overlap the, the good joint on the outside. So this little uh, four foot sheet is underneath. And then what I do is I leave a little bit of gap so I can weld the two panels actually to the tubing in there when I fill that up. And that's just a stitch weld, make a cross and we go so same thing here. And then I leave this end in here uh, a little bit then on the end, but I gotta turn this heat off. So I'm gonna start uh, tacking these all together and we should be good to go there we go like I had my uh, fan going here because it was full of rust dust that was kind of shitty anyway I'm ready to go here so I'll get these welded up and uh, yeah sounds good see you in a little bit here okay there she is guys nice Now I'll show you in the middle here. I gotta flip it up yet and uh, weld up the back, but see in the middle how I burn right through the tin? It shouldn't be hot anymore. Burn right through the tin and then get onto the uh, tubing underneath and that holds it nice and solid. I like that. It's like that, little stitch welds and it don't warp on a guy. So now I gotta lift this side up, put the block underneath get my lifting chain on and I just lift it up with the tractor so it's straight up and then I'll I'll give you a little rundown on what it'll look like with the post chain to it so I got eight of these to build for myself or for me and Ashley anyways out back there so we're not sure if we're gonna go with them adjustable neck bar or feed feed stalls or or what we're gonna do but like I said in the last video the feed stalls will be all made of 
um, two and two by three tubing. I think it's 125 wall, if I remember right. Anyway, uh, so we won't have this tubing up here, the drill stem. It'll just be all that and then sucker rods for uh, feed stalls. And the cows stick their head through and nom nom nom. Anyway, I guess. So there's a lot of different ways a guy can make them. You can make uh, with a solid neck bar coming up and then across with a sucker rod going through uh, here so the cows don't stick their head through there. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ways, but we figured this is kind of neat and should serve us well and the customers well. So anyway, hopefully it'll work all right. We're going to get... Uh, it's good to get some feedback from these guys, so I don't know if, um, I don't think we need a rod in there because this is, like I said, adjustable, so this can go up or down or whatever, but anyway, I'll uh, get her stood up here, got to let the tractor warm up, and then I'll bring it in and finish the welds on here, and then we're good to go. She's done, so all right, see you in a few. Video's almost done. Oh. Got a text. Probably Tyson or Nick. Okay, so I got her stood up here. Um, no, it doesn't sit on the boards, but I gotta get up high enough. I can. I'm not welding in the gravel. I got these to do. All these back welds got to be done yet. And here, um, on all the way down, and then the sheet steel. Sheet steel right here is the joint so I just put two little stitches in there and she's good to go so anyway I'll get these done and that'll be her so see you in a little bit guys okay guys there she be there she be Whoop. nice okay so I'm gonna end the video here, but I wanna give you a bit of a demonstration first, guys. You can't just leave you hanging like this. Hey. So, now pretend this little guy right here is a post. Like say in my feed lot. So the post will be here like that. And then the chain will go around here like this. I think I'm gonna do two chains myself, one at the bottom, one at the top, just so they can't uh, push that out, but it probably will be a fine anyway. So that's what that looks like. Something like that. Use your imagination, that's not a post. It's just a piece of pipe. Anyway, so that's that. Now, all the backs are all welded up here now. Nice, nice, da, 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 nice, nice. Okay, so the cows come through here and they put their heads down there, but obviously they can't get down there unless they're calves, right? So that's why we leave this bar right down. So what you do is take your bottom chain and bring it over the top like this. Now the cattle can't push. See how that chain gets tight? They can't push that open. So now you know you'd always think you got a big enough shop and it's never big enough mind you, it's full of shit too i gotta get all this stuff out of here all that plywood i'm gonna use for the coverall shed on the bottom and stuff to use that up and good enough so anyway back to uh what we're doing here so now we got these chains here these guys right here go in here like so okay so I'm gonna try to set you down somewhere so that you can see what I'm doing hopefully you stay there okay now what hi Billy so we can lift this up do whatever you want let's say here and then you chain the top now you gotta bring the bottom one back and over and lock it in like that. 
there you go and that's what it's like so basically all these ones are doing up here is holding the neck bar up there's really not much weight on there like you seen I can lift it by hand by myself so same thing down here when you get your desired height what you want and we just lock this guy in something like that they never end up the same I don't know might have to uh, anyway, whatever you get what I'm saying so this piece here I probably could go to the next one actually actually tucked in okay now the bottom same thing on the bottom she goes over the top like that now the cows can't lick that out same with here like that there you go she's ready to feed cows now you're in your I'm gonna say probably your six and seven weights now they can reach in easily and uh, get some food some hay I'm not gonna do a demonstration I did this before but uh, yeah there you go so that's what she looks like guys anyway hope you liked the video I'm gonna try and get it up here today yet on Monday or Tuesday and uh, try out our new wireless internet we got high-speed LTE out here now so let's give that a whirl anyway there we go guys that's what she looks like I gotta back up a little bit here right there this is out where you're feeding eh? right down there so anyway guys there we go thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't we've got lots of work to do on the uh, feed lot yet so that'll be lots of future videos um what else we got we got lots going on so uh we gotta get that cover all up yet and water bowls put in and oh yeah all kinds of fun shit so anyways i'll see you in the next one me and billy right billy hi right, buddy here he comes coming for a pet oh he's coming through here oh you're all beat up again Oh, yeah, there we go, buddy. Oh, yeah. Real good. All right. See you in a few. In the next one, I mean.